Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you all are well. So let's get started with our topic for today, which is jealousy. Jealousy is when you feel bad because of what someone else has done or is doing. Um, you can feel jealous about anything and it can sometimes feel like it takes over your life. Okay. Um, you can feel jealous. Um, you know, could be because you have low self-esteem or lack of confidence and when someone is unhappy about themselves, you know, um, or when they feel anxious and insecure, this can lead to feelings of jealousy and being out of control. Now, the difference between jealousy and envy is that jealousy is slightly, you know, um, different for sure. Uh, you can envy someone for something they have. If they have more money or nice things, do better at school or you think they are more attractive than you are, you may feel jealous of your brother or sister because you think your parents love him or her more than you. Envy, however, is wanting something you don't have. Jealousy is about wanting to keep or make sure you have something that's already yours. Now, three tips to help you stop feeling jealous. Yeah, I'm not saying you're jealous, okay? But, you know, because we're talking about this. So ask yourself why. When you understand your feelings, it's often easier to change your actions and get support. Number two, work to build up your trust. If you can't trust someone, it might not be a healthy friendship or relationship, yeah? Number three, set yourself a goal. What, what can you do to make you feel good about yourself? So how to tell so how to tell if someone is jealous? Jealousy can show itself in different ways. A jealous person might ask you lots of questions about who you have spent time with or been speaking to, want to know why you were spending time with others or why you didn't invite them along, withdraw and ignore you. Uh, they might also, you know, try to put you down and tell others not to spend time with you. Uh, they might also stop speaking to you for no reason. Okay. Um, how jealousy can affect friends and relationships. It's a very important subject. French and um, the friendship and relationship. Okay, should be based on trust and respect. When you allow jealous feelings to take over and start to doubt your friends or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, um, then this can damage trust and respect. Jealousy isn't about love and caring about someone. It's about feeling insecure and scared about the future. When you do this, you let your fears take over. If you feel like this, it can't be good to talk about how you are feeling and what's happening for you. It can be hard if someone seems to be angry or unhappy with you and you don't know why if you're worried that one of your friends or your you know, partner is jealous, you could try talking to them about how they feel. They might need reassurance from you and might you know, want the chance to open up uh, you know, about how they feel. Um, some people, however, might not want to talk about this, you know, the way they feel, or they might, or they may, you know, get angry or abusive. It's important to feel safe in any relationship. So if you are worried or unsure about anything, you can always, you know, um, initiate. Okay. So if your friend is jealous, uh, you know, if your friend tries to control what you do or who you spend time with, it can make you feel very angry and, you know, at, at times it can 
feel crowded and like you're under pressure. It might be hard to understand why they feel like they do. You could try talking to your friend about how they are behaving and you know, let them know that you like them for who they are and like spending time with them, but that you have other friends too. You could find ways of doing different things you know, together or sharing hobbies. To be honest, I don't like those you know, friends, to be honest, and, and thank God I have none of those people. Because, <laughs> you know, it's kind of annoying. All right, so um, sometimes jealousy can affect people so much that they become abusive. You know, it's abusive when your partner, you know, checks your phone for call, calls or texts, checks your emails or social networking profiles, follows you to check up on what you are doing, shouts at you or physically hurts you if you don't do what they want you to do. Now, that's crazy, yeah? Um this behavior is abuse and it's a sign that someone's jealousy is out of control if someone is abusing you in this way it's not your fault no matter what the reason is if this is bloody wrong you know you can get help by talking to you know uh, your you know like your friend or someone who is you know you can't say it someone who is wiser than you know but you know you can just uh, talk to someone to feel better and find solutions okay after all sharing is caring um you know writing a list of things you want to happen you know try to work on them yourself you could use uh, you know anything just just anything uh, so that you um, can think of or, or recall the memories you know to know what's going what was going around in your life um, and also you know uh, you can do something to make you feel better it could be anything okay um, so I think this is a very important subject if you think about it. Uh, we talk about jealousy uh, mainly in, in respect to relationships, okay? But there's also professional jealousy. You know, someone might be jealous of you because you got promoted or, you know, as we said, you know, so, someone like if, if someone is um, good looking or something like that, it could be any reason, right? Um, so as a conclusion, I would say um, the best solution is to not to pay any attention to those kind of people, okay? Because um, it's, it's a natural thing that you will be jealous of someone because of something, okay? No matter a person, you know, if a person says, well, you know what, well, I am a nice guy, I'm, an, I'm, I'm never jealous of anyone, yeah, but it's a lie. Okay, inside themselves, they know that uh, they are jealous. Uh, so, um, in my opinion, you know, you can't say that you are 100% a person who's not jealous. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, but try to keep, you know, keep things to yourself, okay, rather than opening up, okay. Because um, you can't, like, you can't control your thinking. You can't control your feelings, right? But you control them. You can't. You can't tell each and every person. Yeah. Uh, for example, if you like someone, or if you don't like someone, sometimes you have to keep things to yourself uh, to be able to maintain the positive environment. Yeah. Just like that. Just keep them to yourself and move on. Um, but do try to um, control yourself and try to change yourself if you feel that your jealousy. Or if you think that you're envious. Okay, guys, so that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. I'll see you next time with another topic.